overall, overall, your thoughts about this person. Okay. Deplorable behavior for Sandy Hook. Uh, factually inaccurate, all over the place. Um, you know, all around horrible contributor to misinformation. Also pretty fucking funny. Pretty meme I would say he's like a, a A to S tier in terms of comedy. Uh, he gave us the Kanye West interviews with that black hood and the um, net and Yahoo stupid thing. So all in all, I'll put him in a seat here. Hmm. I'll balance him out there. Okay. It was a big judgment against him for that Sandy Hook stuff. So um, is that Anna Kasparian? Yes. yes. Um, fiery political personality uh, on the Young Turks, though. A little bit far left for me. Um Tries to do her best. I give her props for that. I'll stick her up here on the B tier. Yeah. AOC, progressive. Way to the left of me. Don't appreciate that. But she's grown a lot as a uh, uh, lawmaker, as a congressperson. She's working better in office. Tries to reach out to young people. I can appreciate that. Except for the podcast, but... Well, you know. One day. AOC, how many, please come on our show. We would please. love to have How many you subs on. did you have when you tried then? Many times. We, we're still no, trying. How many subscribers did you have when you tried last? Uh, 100,000? Yeah, something like that. What do you got I mean, now? 950,000? Get yeah. to a million and then maybe she'll think okay. about it. Okay. Yeah. I, th- I think Everyone a million is a good, please. Yeah. Please. Oh, yeah. If you want subscribe. AOC on the podcast, subscribe. Thank you for telling them to subscribe, Destiny. There you yeah. go. Andrew Yang, too. Um, you should be able to get Yang on now, No, right? we tried. Really? Oh. Damn. Uh, ben Shapiro, you know, largest right-leaning, I think, mo- probably one of the most popular right-leaning people in the United States right now, if not the most. Mm-hmm. Um. Unless Tucker is still beating him with older people, um, you know. But again, massive political disagreements. He tries to be fact based, but these are my political enemies. Can I really put a political enemy higher than a C tier? I'm not sure. You could, if, I think. I think you could if you if you highly respect them. No, don't put that on me. <laughs> don't put that. On <laughs> but you put him on the same tier as, as Alex, Alex Jones? Jones. Do you really that feel seem... that way? Well, think about it. Okay, Ben Shapiro is more factual than Alex Jones, which he got downrated heavily for. But Alex Jones is a lot more entertaining than Ben Shapiro. Hmm. And ben Shapiro doesn't really have like that hilarious entertainment factor, right? Like Alex Jones does. Number right? one chart rap song. Okay, well, if it was Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald. You know what? Maybe. His uh, review of the Barbie movie was fantastic. Was it? Yeah. I might have watched that. I don't remember. Okay. We don't need to influence him. No, that's fair. Bernie Sanders, scene. you know, progressive. He tried his best. He got young people energized a little bit, but his whole campaign fell apart. And he didn't really do a good job at picking people that weren't extreme radicals. So now you've got crazies like Brianna. Joy Gray and everybody after it. I'm going to put him on the C tier. But you tried. Is that the best president in my entire lifetime in the United States? My God. Inflation Reduction Act, the CHIPS Act, the HEROES Act, bipartisan infrastructure legislation, uh, pulled us out of Afghanistan, thank God, got us out of the uh, Saudi-led anti-Yemen coalition, uh, managed to uh, reduce our troop commitments in places like Syria and uh, Iraq uh, is responsibly handling Ukraine. Oh my God! Just how, what's not to like about this guy? But he's getting a little senile. I'll put him on the S tier. Okay. Wow. Love this guy. Great president. Uh, you know what, Jenk? Similar to Alex Jones, I like him a lot because uh, he, you know, I might put him down here because Alex is a bit funnier. But he's also he's on my political side a little bit more, and he comes on my show, so he gets big points for that. So I'll put him right here for the seat here. Chris is a really good guy. I think he's pretty um entertaining uh i think i agree with most of the stuff he says i don't think i've ever heard him disagree or i don't think we've had disagreements before but also i don't know where he stands politically oh thank you um i'll I'll put him here on the a tier he seems like a i've never i don't think i've ever heard anything bad about him or seen anything bad about him ever no yeah i thought i'm aware of actually he's kind of suspicious what yeah good yeah is my hair blurry um steven crowder uh f tier uh, constantly doesn't talk to me, uh, <clears throat> is mean to his wife on video camera, uh, tried to blow up the Daily Wire, failed miserably uh, on that stupid contract shit. Um, what? God, I'm just I'm just doing this so we have a better face cam because we're going to superimpose the face. Okay, cam. fine, whatever. Yeah, fuck Steven Crowder. Far right, dumb, everything he does. Um, who's this guy? I can't see. Who's that? Jack? Don Lemon. Oh, CNN. Um, I don't have strong feelings. But it's CNN. I'll put him on the seat here. Fuck it. Elon Musk. <laughs> it's just all of his political takes are horrible. Uh, he did get me unbanned. No, not personally. But I was unbanned from Twitter, so hmm. I'll, he gets bumped up to the D for tier for that. Why were you banned on Twitter? 
No, it's and it depends on which account you're talking about. <laughs> oh no. Um, <laughs> let's just let's just try to get this a little bit safe. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay, fine, cool. Thank you. Um, who is this guy? Gavin Newsom. Oh, Jesus! Why are these pictures so small? We had to, we yeah, had to make it, it small okay. to yeah, have it okay. all fit. Uh, I just watched Gavin do a couple debates and speeches. You know, we agree, I think, on some things. I don't know much about the substance of his beliefs. I do know that I lived in California, and there were a lot of homeless people and a lot of taxes. And I think those two things should never go together. So, um, But he was really good on camera. I'll stick him here on the B tier. Okay. okay. Um, who, is that, who is that? <laughs> oh, that's Hassan Piker. Oh, Hassan Piker uh, supports terrorists, uh, champagne socialist, uh, just bad political takes on everything. Can't read more than a Twitter thread. I mean, what do I, what is to like? If I could make a lower tier, I would. Jesse Lee Peterson, uh, he's funny, uh, but also perpetually sounds like a stroke victim and has some crazy beliefs. I'll put him down here with Elon on the D tier. These guys would be good friends in real life, I'm sure. Uh, is that Joe Rogan? Yes. Um, a big purveyor of misinformation, but at least he brings a lot of people together to talk. Uh, and he's reasonably entertaining. Oh, I'll stick him on the C tier, I guess. Is he really going the same tier as Don Lemon? Uh, we'll bump, we'll bump Don up. Uh, you know what? John Oliver, uh, I think he's to the left of me, but I don't really hear him fuck up ever. I think last week tonight it's generally a pretty good show i don't think i've ever heard them I, listen i watched their israel palestine stuff and i thought it was actually pretty good which says a lot in this environment so you know i'll put him on the a tier I, yeah i appreciate him jordan peterson you know he talked to me so he gets big points for that but um man he i just feel like he's off the deep end right now with the all the crazy stuff he believes so i'm gonna put him on the c tier as well kamala harris i don't know what she does she's the vice president i feel like i've never hear anything from her ever She's visited, visited the border once. Cool. Isn't she, that's her department? Of the vice president is to visit the border over and over again? Mm, I think it was some other title that she had. I don't know. I saw on some stupid Twitter thread. Charlie Kirk is an idiot uh, and a loser uh, and believes horrible things politically. So he can go down there. <laughs> um, who is, it? is that Lex? Lex. 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 Hello. Uh, sets up amazing conversations. Uh, has helped me talk to people that I never thought I'd be able to talk to before, like Ben Shapiro, and then hopefully other people at the end of this month. Uh, you know, tries to bring people together. Uh, is a little bit, you know, too nice to everybody sometimes. But yeah, I'm, he's up here. He's my S tier. He's fighting for a buddy of the year right now on my stream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good job. Is that Vosh? Matt, Matt Walsh. Walsh. Oh. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Man, Daily Wire talent that is not uh, Ben Shapiro is uh, in a pretty rough state, I would say. Uh, and here's another one of them. Yep. <laughs> uh, yikes. Knowles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, it's just like whatever you can say to like bash people on the left, that's like what these two do all the time. And I'm pretty sure these guys have both collectively spent like more of their career talking about how much they hate trans people than literally every other subject combined, which is just really wacky to me. Is that Fuentes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I will, I'm going to bump Fuentes up to a D tier. Um, I do like that. Um, Fuentes followed the exact career destructive arc that I said he would go on where he threw away the entirety of what he was building so that he can go hang out with uh, Kanye West for a little bit and then ruin the entire rest of his political future and that was just very fucking funny to me and I like the fact that I got to sit back and laugh and enjoy all of that and it makes me funny when I see him and his Griper fans beg me to go on and talk to him over and over again because they know the only shred of relevancy they will ever have for the remainder of their political existence is if I give them any so I'll give him a D tier for making me feel good about myself David Pakman one of the few people on the left that I feel like isn't completely and totally partisan brain rot to one side. Uh, we disagree on some things, but I think he tries pretty hard. And he puts out a lot of content. He does a good job. I'll put him up here. A tier. Um, Patrick Bet David. Huh. Well, I want to go on their show, so I'll put him up on the C tier for now. <laughs> um, these guys have a lot of crazy people on. I feel like they are very bought into the anti-establishment conspiracy crazy stuff. Uh, and I feel like I hear that a lot. But um, we'll stick him there for now. Who is this guy? RFK? Oh, God. Um, just crazy, wacky, conspiracy guy. Almost no redeeming qualities whatsoever. And every time I listen to him talk, I want to clear my throat like 20 times. Um, it's crazy. Oh, God. Russell Brand. Yeah, uh, Jesus. Yeah, my God. Like, take, like, Joe Rogan and just make him worse in every single way. And that's Russell Brand, basically. Um, less funny, 
less just just everything less intelligent less and he has a british accent too just like jesus <laughs> how many more ways can you go wrong is this trudeau mm-hmm. um man canadians hate this guy and i don't like canadians so he gets a bump for that in my book um i'll, I'll stick him on the c tier b tier he can't go next to pvd i'll put him up on the b tier because we're like you know we're both left-leaning and you know he's a young guy uh, he beat trump at the handshake game so he gets points for that um yeah, I'll, he he'll make B tier for me. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, normally, I'd give him. Normally, I would give him an F tier because we disagree on almost every single thing um, that could possibly be disagreed upon. But D tier because he helps my career a lot because it's fun talking about him, making money off him. But F tier because he's a treasonous fucking piece of shit, and I hope he rots forever in prison. Uh, Tucker Carlson. I hope he rots right alongside Trump. Uh, treasonous people that betray this country and give aid and comfort to enemies of the United States. Like what Tucker is doing right now as he interviews Putin and goes on the biggest, easiest softball suck off interview of his entire fucking life. I know that's coming out. Fuck this guy. Um, and he lied to the American people knowingly. He said he was lying. He doesn't like Sidney Powell. He thought all of his theories were fucking insane. And he's literally texting, talking about how he hates that she won't actually verify anything they're saying, but still supported all of it on Fox news. Um, fuck him. Um, Vosh here. Uh, where's Hassan at? F. F. Okay. Well, Vosh gets one tier above Hassan because he's a little bit smarter than Hassan. Um, but that actually, that means he should know better. And he shits on me and he says so many incorrect things. Actually, you know what? He's an F tier. F tier for lazy. He doesn't hustle enough. His channel should be bigger, but it's not because he's lazy and he's complacent and he's making his million. So he doesn't care. Fuck that guy. Vivek. I don't think he offered anything of value. He was just like a little, uh, basically a darker version of Trump, uh, who was like less successful and less in every single conceivable way. Fuck Vivek. And XQC, uh, God tier political commentator, uh, obviously a uh, frequent call into the Destiny stream, believes in all the best things, antagonizes the fuck out of people that I don't like, like Hassan. So, you know, he makes the S tier as well. You didn't put anyone in the amazing tier. Amazing! No, that guy's crazy. 